Pool sticks are thicker than you think. And also, I don't want to pay for them. Take that word for it. We saw it, saw it in the end of that Texas Tech game too. Just that compete level. I mean, how how bad? You know, how much motivation comes out of a game like Texas Tech as you get ready for Oklahoma now? Um, I mean, at this point of the football season, you shouldn't need something like that to be motivated. You should be motivated, uh, win, lose, big game, small game, and whatnot. So I don't think that. I think that's kind of a flawed mindset to try to always use things like that as motivation because you're implying that you don't have motivation otherwise. So while you are right, it is frustrating to lose and it sucks to lose to a team like that where we had a chance at the end and we didn't uh, do what we needed to do on offense. Um, that's frustrating, but uh, I think the motivation should be the same every week no matter who you're playing. Did you talk to Brock and Hummel after the game and they were obviously disappointed. I mean, and you talked about the level of competitiveness that you have and your teammates have. What was that locker room like in the time after the game? I mean, it's it's the same way it is after you lose. Doesn't matter. It's, it's a lot of emotions. Um, you know, you pour a lot of uh, time and love and effort into this game, and to come up short, we seem to find heartbreaking ways to lose. Um, and sometimes it's the way we play. Sometimes it's just the things that happen, and. It, when you have a game like that, you know, where for all intents and purposes, everyone thinks you're going to overtime. Like I was preparing for what everyone was, and you get cut short. It's it's it sucks. You know, it's I know it it sucks for everyone, but it's just a little different as a player or a coach. You know, this is at the end of the day, this is you know this is my team. This is Chase's team. This is Greg and Brock and their team. It's our last year, and um, obviously it's frustrating. And so in the locker room, you know, there's no yelling at each other, but there is. There is emotions after a thing like that. Um, just to come up short at something, it's just, it hurts. Talking to Chase, he said, you know, with whatever else, wins, losses, where you are in the standings, that for a big group of you guys, knowing you've only got, you know, two or three more opportunities is enough. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, we talk about like, two weeks guaranteed, it's all we have left to us. Um, you know, trying to take it day by day, but obviously you can't. Help with notice, like I've been here a while. Chase walking out, he's been here a long time, played together a long time together. Uh, there's definitely emotions, you know, there's there's some, there's a lot of gratitude, but there's also there's sadness, and there's you know, realizing these people that you spent so much of your life with and poured so much of your time into, um, you're never going to be with in the same room like you are now on the same team. That's definitely sad, and um, I think also there's something to look back on and be grateful for. Like these relationships that I have with guys, especially guys that I came in with and played with for years, I'll always hold those for the rest of my life, and they'll be my lifelong friends. But yeah, it's definitely it's it's weird that's coming to an end. But at the end of the day, trying to put that on the back burner for now and just focus on Tuesday practice. Seems like every time you guys play Oklahoma, this this comes up, right? That that you're from there, and and everyone wants to know what it's like to play the team that you know you grew up watching and everything. Is there anything new you can kind of say about that at this point? Um, no, I think I've covered it. Obviously, um, growing up in Norman, uh, growing up on that stadium and that program, it's always exciting to go back. But like I said, with uh, Texas Tech loss, I think that as a, you know, for myself personally, for this team, we're we shouldn't need that type of motivation to go play hard. You know, if you're if you're implying that you can play harder against a team that you're from than other teams, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with everyone. So. Obviously, there's a little more emotion, but in terms of the way you prepare and play, it should be the same. Would you rather hear uh, pack the stadium in there going nuts and being loud or go dead quiet after you guys make a big play or something like that? You're saying would I rather be play home or away, basically? That? I, I mean, well, specifically normal, but any time around the road, I guess it could apply. Yeah, it's, I mean, as a, it's definitely as an o different with offense and defense. You know, an offense, when you're at home, it's quiet, and it's kind of weird sometimes when you're – and, and it's super fun when you make a play, but it's kind of – it's kind of eerie when you're about to snap it because it's so quiet. And when you're on the road, it's so loud. Um, it's weird. I think for a lot of guys, it actually helps you. It kind of helps you focus, like centers yourself. Um, and I think it really is exciting a place like that. You know, especially where they have a great stadium and they have loud fans, opportunity to make plays, to make some quiet and allow us to communicate better. It'd be great. Coach talked about being able not writing the story of the season until it's fi final. <laughs> What do you hope the story of your senior class is? You know, it's uh, I, it's hard um, to 
quantify what we've done in the last four to five years. Um, you know, we talked about, I know a lot of guys use the term, like leave the jersey in a better place than you found it. Uh, and I, I, I know that with certainty in myself, I can leave and know that I did everything in my power to do that. And whether I did or not is up to what the future guys do and everything. But I know that most of the seniors can at least find peace in that they did everything they can. And that's like the, it's the beauty and it's the terribleness of sports. Like you talk about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. It's hard when you have a season like this where you don't always get exactly what you wanted initially. But the important thing like you talked about is what you do for the program and what you leave and the example you leave for the younger guys. So even though like, not stupid, like the season's not gone the way everyone thought, it hasn't been perfect, but the one thing I can take pride in, I know my fellow classmates can, is we did everything in our power to leave this place better than we found it. So while it's not perfect, there still is beauty in the struggle, and um, I think that's something that our senior class can be proud of. Talking to Matt today, he said, I guess midway through the third quarter on Saturday, you guys kind of pivoted away from the game plan and went in a different direction with the passing game. What's that like in real time for you guys as an offense to you know, change course pretty dramatically, you know, when there's what twenty minutes left in the game. Yeah. yeah. It's not you know, it's not it's not super uncommon, you know, that's how you have to do with sort of if you're up or down. Like when we were up against Texas we ran the ball more and we're down against Tech we passed the ball more. Um I think it just takes more of a you should have changed the way you're approaching a little bit, you know, you gotta get out of bounds, gotta get first downs, gotta do the things. It just accelerates the two minute drill to the whole game. And so that's the biggest part is so two minute drill the last play of the last uh, drive of the half or the game, it's most of the half. Is that, is that psychologically you're just naturally going to play with more urgency when you're doing that then? I mean, you're getting up to the line fast and all of that? Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, kind of, I guess, yeah. Like, like you're still trying to do the same things you're doing. It's just you guys snap the ball faster. Yeah. You can't take your time. You got to do those things. So it's just, like I said, it's just moving the two-minute drill up for the whole half. So just little things like that got to be better at. And I thought we were fine. Uh, Last quarter and a half, which could be better than the first two and a half quarters. What were your thoughts?